Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. What I'm gonna get into is just showing you guys how to talk to a girl while she's working. Many of the times you may think, you know what? It's not possible. Or it seems like it's too much to do or she'll be uncomfortable. There's ways around this, but the main thing that you have to be when you're going in is quick and effective. Watch this short video of me talking to this girl. You have to forgive me because I wanted to show you more, but the interaction, it died. I mean, like the camera died along the way. So let's jump straight into how to talk to a girl who's working. Where, where's your antlers? Where's, where's your antlers? They'll have one more. I'm you gonna ask a serious question. It's not a serious <laughs> question. I gotta come front with you because you're at work okay. and I like you. And I'm like, I gotta come up and be like, oh, okay, so can you tell me where, uh, where you're from? And uh, I know you're at work. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be here bothering you, but I do <laughs> find you attractive though, I do. Thank you. Thank yeah, I do. Okay, because you have all these people in here, <laughs> yeah, you gotta tell me at least one thing about you. Cause you do look like you work out. Um, I used to. Like two years ago. And now you're lazy. No, I'm just going to something different. You are? Huh? And what is that? I'm trying to get thicker by eating. You're trying to get thicker? Oh, you mean, yeah. what inspired you to get thicker? So this weekend, I would like to see you. This weekend's perfect. It is? Uh-huh. Yeah. And you gotta, it's just one thing though. You have to ask me better questions. Because so far, you're bad. So you have to ask me better questions than you're doing now. I hear you. I'll, I'll get them together. I'll get them together. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Really? But this is right now, like we're not supposed to be doing this right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be greeting people coming in. But you are, you've greeted me. I am. So. Yeah, this is worth it though. Is it? Yeah. At least you get the chance to meet somebody for real. Not people just going past, you can True. really just get to meet somebody. True. After saying all that, you say true. This is why I like you, Lana. <laughs> okay, well, um, Continue being nice to everybody else. I'll try. And I'll write you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll see you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that quick interaction. It was quite lovely to speak to her. So what do I want to bring you into right now? <clears throat> I just want to bring you into both parts. I said quick for a reason, and I said effective for a reason. So let's break down both. So when you see that next girl that you want to talk to, who's there, and maybe she's alone, or maybe she's around coworkers, you can get her. The first part to this is quick. What do I mean by quick? Because I don't mean, uh, excuse me, you know, I know you're at work right now, but I just want to get your number, so uh, you want to go on a date. That's one way to be quick, it is. That's kind of the right attitude. But what I mean by quick is, is that you don't have a lot of time when you go in there. I remember when I was talking to this girl in Walmart once, she was at work and she was behind the cash register. As I'm speaking to her, I noticed that she has customers. And I'm like, all right, what do I do in this situation? And I just stand there for a long time. And I'm waiting and she can sense that I'm there. She looks over, she sees that I'm there. And I'm starting to feel that this is starting to get awkward. So I continue to stay there. <clears throat> and as I'm staying there, I want to speak to this girl and I'm noticing that, okay, she sees that I want to speak to her and I stay around for a, like about five to seven minutes. I just stayed around at the register, making this girl feel awkward. I literally just stood there because I was thinking, you know what? I'm just going to wait until she finishes. And I stayed there, and I stayed there, and I stayed there. And then eventually she 
eventually, I, it was at the time, it was a long time ago, eventually I wrote my number down and I told her to write me. Do you think that that girl ever wrote me? <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't write me because I wasn't being quick. I was just waiting as if she had all this time. She is at work, but I'm still treating it as if it's me and her talking on the street. I was totally unaware of the fact that, okay, she's at work, there's people around, there's a boss that she has, she's actually on a time limit, she can't give me her attention because her attention is to the people around her. None of that I was taking into account. I was just there waiting for my chance to speak to her. I was as if the next customer, just patiently waiting for my chance to get something, to get her number to ask her do she want to go on a date. I was just waiting around for so long. So I'm here to tell you this. Don't be too long when you're in there. When you're in there with the girl, you're probably been in there way too long. You're probably like, you know what? How do I go in there and speak to her like I speak to the girls on the street? How do I go in there and speak to her like I speak to the girls that's at the bar? How do I go in there and speak to her in the same way? You can't speak to her in the same way. Well, you can, you just notice that there's a lot against you. Don't be too long. That situation taught me about being too long. I was in that incredibly over the time limit. <clears throat> You're in there and you may feel like, you know what? This is a chance to go do this. Okay, there's a girl right there and I wanna go speak to her. She's at work, maybe she is giving out flyers, maybe she's behind a cash register, maybe she's just a salesman, a saleswoman at a job. And you're already thinking too long for the process. You need to even in your thinking process, cut down your thinking process because if you try to put on her what you do when you're meeting a girl on the street, it won't fit because you don't know the girl on the street if she has a time limit or not. This girl actually has a time limit. So for you to go in there and try to associate it in this way, you're, that's being unaware of the situation. With your own awareness, you're going to see that, okay, naturally this girl, she's in a situation where she's crammed. I can't just openly go in there and try to do something too much. I need to be more underneath the surface. So for me to do that, it's not being there for a long time. It's being there for a short amount of time. The other thing when it comes to quick is making sure that you don't get caught up in her feeling good about what you're doing. I got caught up so many times where I'm standing there talking to a girl who's at, who's at work and she feels so flattered that I'm talking to her. She feels like, oh my God, I just never had this happen. Oh my God, this feels so great to me. I'm so caught up in that that I forget that I have to get to know her. I'm too caught up in her feeling good about what I'm doing. And I don't want you to fall into this trap of getting caught up in her feeling good, her flattery. Don't get caught up in that because you'll be like, oh, I should, I should just keep going with this. I should stay in there longer. I should give her this compliment. Then I should try to talk about this. Then I should try to be like this. You should, you're trying to do too much based on her feeling good. And you're forgetting that you need to be quick. There's times where I've been in there and the girl has been giving me such a great response, like really great response. And I thought it was gonna go bad. I thought her response was gonna be something totally different, but then she gave me a great response. And I stayed around having this wonderful chat and you know, going off of her good feelings and trying to make her even feel better about the situation. Then a customer walks in. When the customer walks in, now I'm like, okay, what do I do? Do I stay around in the store? Do I you know, stay here in, in front of her? Do I like, kind of stay close to her because she's with the customer or to let her know that I'm still interested. How do I do this situation knowing that now, right now it's getting awkward. That's why I tell you, do not get caught up in her feeling good about what you're doing. If you get caught up in it, trust me, if you get caught up in it, you will lose the girl almost every time. Or you would do something very strange to her like just stay around too long or just kind of lurk around the store while she's with customers which is not bad if you do it in a certain way, but many times when you're first doing this, you won't know the other ways. The only thing you're gonna know is, I wanna speak to this girl, I know she has a time limit, and this is a stressful situation for me and her. 
That's the only thing you're going to know in the beginning. Get to know the girl, though. That's, you, it's important to get to know her and not get caught up in her feeling goodness. Don't get caught up in that. You need to move it along. This is why I say be quick. Move it along. Don't try to stand there like trying to have this long conversation. Of course, unless she's at work and there's nobody around, you can. But most of the time, she won't be. Get to know the girl. You need to. If you don't get to know her, you will completely lose her. And this is what I was telling my, my brother this weekend. It was crazy because my brother was just with me and we were down and we were with his coworkers. And he was talking to this, he wanted to talk to this girl in a restaurant. And he was trying to get some insight on like what is the best, what's the best way to do it. And the main thing I was emphasizing to him, because I know he, I knew he could do it, but the main thing I, could, I was emphasizing to him was be interested in the woman. Make sure that she knows that you actually are interested in her. That you're not just there to just as some guy trying to flirt with her and get her number. That you actually want to get to know her. It will be many times through her experience where she just gets some guy who's in there and maybe he's had a few drinks and he goes, so what are you doing tonight? And he's being very flirtatious and she's liking it, but she doesn't know if he's really into her. It's important that if you are there and you want to go on a date with the girl who's working, that you get to know her to a little bit. You show her that I want to know you, not just go on a date with you. Because remember, why do women flake? They flake because men don't show genuine interest. Men don't show that they really want them, that they really want to get to know them. So I stressed this to him, and I stressed this to him before he went up. And then he went up, and I heard him just getting to know her, and she was getting really into it. And I was like, this is the best way that he's going to be able to go on a date with this girl. But I can just imagine that if he just walked up and said to her, hey, you know what, I think you're at work and I think you look beautiful and I want to go on a date with you, I can just see that she'll be like, oh, okay, thank you, that's wonderful. I mean, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. And then when it comes down to the moment, she would be like, no way. I don't know anything about him. I just know that he's cute. That's it. Get to know the girl. And if it's just for a little bit, get to know her. Find out something. Get to know her for the little time that you're there. Because when you do, that ups your chances for her saying yes to go on a date with you. The last thing about being quick is making sure that you put a time limit for yourself. When you put a time limit for yourself, you make sure that you go along with enough speed. Say to yourself the amount of time that you're going to go in and then set that time for yourself. When you do that, you know that you don't have so much time in the world and it keeps you on track. This is the thing that I used to do. I used to go, I'm going to go in here for this amount of time and then I'm going to leave because that kept me on track. Next, we're going to talk about being effective in that process, but that kept me on track with knowing that, okay, I don't have all the time in the world, but I can make the most of this time. Set yourself a limit of time and stick to it. Because once you do that, you know that you're being quick and effective. The second part is being effective. You must be effective in this time period. If you try to go in there and you are not effective in that time period, which means that you're in there and you're not getting caught up in things. You're being able to go along with the process and you're making sure that you're clear along the way. This is what it means. Being effective means you know clearly why you're going in there and you know clearly that you're going to try to get to this place. I know that I'm going in here to try to get, this, get to know this woman for a short amount of time. If I like her, I know that I would try to go on a date. But I know I only have this amount of time to do this, but the effectiveness along that path, I need to stay with it by remaining clear for myself. That's what you need to do. You need to remain clear along the path. Sometimes, like for example, a guy may go in there and he just may just get so caught up in everything that it just becomes unclear. He's, he doesn't even know why he's there anymore. He's just, I'm here because I know that the girl's attractive, but I've forgotten totally to go through the process of getting to know her. I've forgotten clearly to go through the process of, okay, I know that I'm here to get to know you because if I like you, I want to go on a date. 
he's forgotten that. So he's lost everywhere. He, maybe he starts joking about this thing. He starts talking about uh, certain things in a store. He just gets off track. There's no time for ambiguity when you're in there with a woman. There's no time for it because you don't have the time. She doesn't have the time. Being effective is being, is being clear. It's being clear from the moment you go in all the way to the end. <clears throat> and while you're there. The last thing I'm going to give you about being effective when you go in there is not being fast, being slow. The best way for you to be effective when you're talking to somebody is to be slow. This works so great when you're talking to a woman who only has a time limit. It is incredible for you to talk slowly. That means have periods where there's silence. Have periods in a small amount of time where you're not in a rush. Because there's a difference between this. And I do these drills when guys are with me on workshop. I tell them, okay, we're going to walk from here down there. And from here to there, I want you to do this, this, and this. And he goes, okay. So we're walking along, and then he screws up the first time. And then I go, slow down. The strongest impact you're going to have on somebody is in the moment of silence. So why would you go in there and be talking fast the whole time? Yes, you have a crunch period. You have a time that you have. But in that time period, you can be effective. Be slow. Be clear. Be slow and clear in that period, and you will have the strongest impact on her. This is what I had to come to. Because I used to think, you know what? If I'm going to be very quick and effective, then I need to be fast. I need to go in there like, okay, I know you only have a certain amount of time, but this... Tell me something about you, this. I used to be fat like that. Then I start to go, sometimes it's too much on a girl because I've done this enough. Sometimes the girl is a little bit weirded out by it. So that means that that's, take period, that's taking periods of time for me to relax her. It's not just always a grease, slippery slide thing. Sometimes there's bumps. She doesn't feel comfortable about it. This is weird. So I started to go in like, you know what? The only way that I'm going to be when I go in is a slow and effective. Slow and clear. Slow and clear. I know where I'm going, but I'm going to be slow and clear when I go in here. So I go in there, and I'm slow. Excuse me. I know you're at work. And then I say it, and it lands. And I go, and I just go through very slowly. When I'm going through slowly and clearly, but I know I have the time limit, I make it the most impactful that it's going to be. You want to be impactful in that short amount of time. Guys are not impactful when they go in and they're, they know they have a short amount of time. They usually just allow the time period, the time frame, the amount of time to rush them. And when it's rushed, the girl doesn't fully connect to what she's feeling. This is why I slow down purposely when I go in there. Even though may, sometimes I may be excited, I slow down purposefully sometime just so I can be able to get things out. When I'm talking to you guys here, sometimes I get excited and I want to talk about this and this, but I know I have to slow down because for you to really feel what I'm saying, you need to be here with me. If I was talking like this the whole time and you guys were just here and I was just talking like this the whole time, you wouldn't be able to keep up if I was speaking like that. But I know that for you to feel what I'm saying, for you to be here with me, for you to come into the space that I'm in right now, I need to give you a chance to do that. And the only time, the only chance for me to do that is to be slow. I make my videos about 20 to 30 minutes long on purpose. But I know that in that short amount of time, I don't care about giving you the most information. I care about you feeling more of what I say than hearing more of what I have to say. That's what's important. That's the same thing that I want you to take in when you're speaking to a woman, is that you want her to feel more of what you're saying than have to hear more of the fact that you want to go on a date with her. But feel that. And the only way you can be able to bring that across is being slow and being clear, is having a time limit, being quick and effective as you go through, and she'll feel that she want to go on a date with you better than if you just try to go in and say, let's go on a date, I know you're at work. 
I hope this gave you so much insight into how to speak to a woman who's working because it's very doable. Uh, many guys think that it's not a possibility until they try it. And I'll, after the many times and the many times I've tried it, it's shown me that, yes, sometimes it's weird for her, but sometimes it's super enjoyable, most of the times, because it's not done. Into the time you guys see me again, what I would like for you to do is go to the description box and click the link. That is my free seduction course. That's everything from meet to bedroom. How do you meet her when you say hello, all the way to what do you say when she's at the doorstep. Totally free for you. Just click on that link and uh, that'll be available. Subscribe, 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 and share. Many other times you may notice that you are watching these videos but you're not subscribing or sharing. There's people out there you know who would want this and there's people out there who would benefit from it. So allow yourself to do that. And in the meantime, like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll see you next video.